Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. It's Wednesday today, Wednesday the 4th of January, 2023. <laughs> so, we're doing our uh, Aussie Wednesday. And the soap we're going with today is from Squadron. It's called Sweetheart. This is a, <laughs> as the name implies, a sweetish, quite a sweet scent. It reminds me of those pink musk sticks that you used to get when I was a kid. Or lipstick, similar. That's the pour. Lovely pour. It's meh. Like a normal, croppy, not soft but not hard. And the ingredients, I'll list the ingredient list here along with the scent profile. And the, yeah, the squadron comes from Barossa Valley in South Australia, just uh, in the rural outskirts of Barossa Valley. The man by the name of Ante is the proprietor and soap maker. And he's been going um, since about uh, 2015, making, making soaps. And the brush we're going to use. Well, I've got soap in here already, so I'll just give it a bit of a squeeze so you can have a look at it. It's a ball brush, but it's a little bit different. It's a high density ball brush. Uh, with some gel tips, so um, it feels a little bit like something between a bore and a synthetic brush when you use it. Uh, we'll put that back in the soap. The handle, I am on the handle. It's a lovely handle from Shade by Dave, uh, an Australian brush maker. Beautiful handle. I call it the bluey bore. <laughs> Bluey in Australia refers to a red head, so it's got a red top. All right, and the razor. We're continuing with our shades for this week with the Carve, the Carve Overlander, and a fresh Prime or Dorco Prime blade in there, the HQ one. I'll put that in in a second. I'll put it in the, in the overhead shot just before the I do the leather. And that's my gear. All right, we'll get the leather started over there. All right, before we get the leather started, I'll just show you the overlander from Carve. It's got the DE89 style head. You see a very fine, well machined, tight fitting head. It's got the slots instead of pins. Have a good alignment on the blade. Then the slots go inside a couple of recesses in there. Hold on, so I'll just get out the Dorco, Dorco Prime Blade, there's no glue, single wrapped, no wax or glue. If that is a concern for you. So this is the first use on this blade. Got a nice long thread on the... Um, the screw, as you can see, perfectly aligned. Not a lot of gap, about uh, I think it's about 0 0.7 with a small um, exposure. That's why you get a little bit more efficient.
right, we're back from making that lovely leather. I've got a little bit left over on my fingers, so I'll put on my head to my pre-shave, which I've already put on my face. So I did that just prior to building the leather. We're still going with the Lucky Tiger liquid shave cream for our pre-shave. Wonderful. Alright, uh, just put a touch of alum on my fingers as usual. We've got a wonderful leather there. Beautiful. The scent, about medium strength off the leather. Probably 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10 type strength. It's a lovely, sweet, mustic scent. What's it got in it? Uh, a bit of pink mustard, not mustard, <laughs> pink musk, jasmine, and a touch of vanilla. I find it quite pleasant actually. This um, high density ball not as has been treated, so the tips are soft. It feels like a cross between a, a ball brush and a and synthetic. Not a scent I could use every day, but yeah, it's a nice change from my normal woody stuff and citrus. Uh, oh, we're going with the grain first. I've got about a two days growth. My last shave was on Monday, the, the second. Oh, it's a wonderful first pass and a wonderful great sweetness from the soap. Can't go wrong with this. Soap is it's only got a small ingredient list. Steric acid, water, coconut oil, tallow, potassium hydroxide, glycerin, lanolin, and fragrance. I mean that's all you need, isn't it? Wonderful. It likes a bit of water. Um, I use 13 mil, which is actually a little bit less than I normally use. It's a 
very creamy rich not a high density leather about a medium density is not important to me as long as it, it's slick and protective Certainly looks dense enough. On the face, once you give it a few massages across the grain. Well, the weather here in Ballarat, uh, we're just going into a bit of a, a cool break between the heat. which is a normal summer cycle here in Victoria. We get, you go through periods of three or four days of heat and then you go through a period of three or four days of milder temperatures. You know, milder temperatures like in the 20 degrees range, Celsius that is. In the mid 20s, 20 to mid 20, and on the weekend it'll go up to in, into the mid 30s. So, very pleasant summer cycle we're on at the moment. And I hope it stays that way. <laughs> I don't like it to get up into the 40s, which is you know, 100, 104, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Becomes a bit unpleasant for me. That's one. Already pretty close. Needs another pass though. To get where I like it. But right, if I was a daily shaver, that would be good enough for work. Two passes. It's a lovely soft tip nut. Still got the backbone from the ball. But the tips are delicate and soft. I believe they made the high density by splitting the ball gears. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I believe. Is set for the pickups. Get under the glasses again. Buffering. It's a mild feeling razor. But 
how's the efficiency to get all the hairs down? That's what, for me it does anyway. This could easily be a daily drive off for me. Uh, it's got the lightness, it's aluminium, so it's got the lightness that I like. It's got the mildness, and it's got the efficiency. Oh, it's wonderful. Smooth. Sleep. It's all I need out of a soap. With the um, coconut oil, it gives you some nice skin feel. Post shave skin feel as well. Without going overboard with multiple shaving oils, not shaving oils, soap oils. I'll leave the link below to where you can find um, Shannon soaps. I believe you can only buy it from his uh, website. I haven't seen it in the general stores, shaving stores at the moment. Very nice. Let's see if we need any touch ups. Not a lot. Very, pretty smooth. We'll just do the normal under the jawline touch ups. The upper lip feels great. Just a little bit there. Feels good. Wonderful stuff. Actually, um, Squadron was my first, I might have said it before, but it was my first uh, us, uh, small batch artisan soap that I started uh, collecting. I've now collected about uh, here, yeah, collected 10 cents off Squadron, a couple of which aren't available anymore. 
and I think he's low stock at the moment. It's a wonderful shave. Absolutely wonderful. Great soap, great razor, great blade. What else can you ask for? Oh, rinse off. Just a little warm water. No irritation, so I don't need any cold water. We'll whip around with the other one, see how we went. Nothing at all. Just a, a minor tingle, so I wouldn't even call it one out of ten. That was a wonderful shave. Nothing at all. Okay. Well, we're not going to waste the uh, leftover leather. Big bunch of leftover leather here. We're going to put that on my face. There's even a bit more. Put that on my face. There's a, there's a small amount of soap left in the bowl. It wasn't done. Uh, built into the leather. So I put about three grams of soap in there. Half a teaspoon. And there's you know, maybe a quarter of a gram left. shave. No irritations whatsoever. No spots that I can see other than those little bumps. Right, let's go ahead with our post-shave routine. We chase all with a bit of menthol, tea tree oil, need to be very cool today. It's only about 18, 19 degrees today. Uh, next ingredient we're going with the Nacho for men. Calming balm. Just a light citrus scent in this. Shave like this every day, I'll be very happy. The following green, even though it doesn't match, you see English leather. Oh, that's a bit much. I'll spread it around. Put it in my hair. strong leather scent, it's more of a citrusy leather near to me. Right, that's my show 
have your day. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.